What's up, Thenx athletes? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do a toast to bar. <laughs> Now, Toaster Bar is a fundamental to building core strength and it's an exercise that I use all the time. Mastering the Toaster Bar without momentum and with perfect form will build a super strong core and directly benefit and transfer to other skills like the pullover, front lever, back lever, and many more. The most common reasons for not being able to do Toaster Bars is due to having weak abdominals, hip flexors, and lats. And if you can't lock out your knees, you're definitely going to want to work on hamstring flexibility as well. This exercise also requires strength in your biceps and your forearms as well, but it's most likely not the reason why you can't do this move. Doing a Toaster Bar is exactly how it sounds. You want to bring your toes to the Bar, but the way you do it is what matters. From an active dead hang with a strong grip, you want to point your toes, engage your core, and lock out your legs. Then raise them using your hip flexors and abs. By engaging your lats and your core, continue to raise your legs past an L-sit position until your feet meet your hands at the top of the bar before descending your legs back down in a slow and controlled manner. Now for today, I designed a workout to build the strength required to be able to do a toaster bar. So if you're one of those that's had trouble with this exercise in the past, try this workout, finally master the toaster bar, and take your training and body to the next level. So for today's routine, I have seven exercises, all from a hanging position. So find a pull-up bar or something to hang on. And to get this routine and properly follow along with me, make sure you've downloaded the Thenx app from the App Store or Google Play Store. If you haven't already, open up to the YouTube workout section, find this routine, and let's get started. For most of the exercises, we'll be going for 10 reps, but if you're just getting started and getting familiar with these moves. You can always work on them individually, master each progression until you move on to the harder progression and finally reach the goal, toaster bar. And the best way to do that would be to choose one of the exercises from today that challenge you and do a couple reps as perfect as you can every minute on the minute for at least 15 minutes or until you feel like you've mastered this move and you're ready to move on to a progression that feels a bit more challenging. But if you can do all the exercises as a workout routine like we're gonna do today, this is gonna build your strength to be able to do toaster bar with multiple reps, perfect form without multiple. Momentum. So with that said, let's start with the first exercise that's the easiest progression to get started, scapula shrugs. Let's go for 10. All right, so there we have the scapula shrugs. And the reason why we do scapula shrugs, this is gonna have you master your active dead hang. It's the same thing you do to set up for your toaster bar. As soon as you're hanging with a strong grip, the first thing you wanna do is engage your scapulas. With your hands shoulder width apart, retracting your scapulas back. This is gonna make sure that you're stabilized when you're doing any type of hanging exercise. This is also gonna warm up your shoulders for all the other hanging exercises to come. And once we've mastered the active dead hang is when we start to learn how to move our lower body. That's what the next exercise we have coming up, hanging knee raises. Let's go for 10. Always start with a strong grip and always start with your scapulas activated in an active dead hang position. Now from here you want to point your toes, engage your core and lock out your legs. Now we're going to raise our knees to a 90 degree angle using just our core and our hip flexors. If you're swinging, you're not gripping hard enough or your scapulas aren't activated. All right, so there we have hanging knee raises. The first exercise that requires you to lift your lower body while hanging. Moving on to the next exercise, we have the hanging tucked L-sit, which is an isometrics hold. We're gonna hold the top of the knee raise position for 20 seconds. Let's go for it. Strong grip, engage the scapulas, bring the knees up, hold. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. All right, so there we have the hanging tuck L-sit hold. This exercise is gonna directly build your endurance and strength due to its time under tension. Normally when we're doing reps, we don't hold the most demanding position for that long. But when you're using an isometrics hold, the most engaged part of the exercise is prolonged, forcing you to contract a lot harder for a longer period of time, building a lot more strength. Now we're gonna make it a little harder with the next exercise. We're gonna go for high knee raises. Let's go for 10. These are just like the knee raises, except you're gonna bring your knees to your chest. So same setup, strong grip, scapulas activated, point your toes, engage your core, straighten your legs, bring your knees all the way to your chest. 
Remember, if your form's on point, there should be no swinging. All right, so there we have the hanging high knee raises, and that's to build your core strength to bring your lower body even higher. You're gonna need to do exactly that every time you go for a toast to bar. But being in a tucked position, it's gonna be easier to bring up your lower body as your legs are closer to your center than when you're doing an actual toast to bar, requiring less weight and resistance for your core to lift. And once you master this exercise, you wanna master the next progression we have in this workout. That's gonna be hanging leg raises. We're gonna go for 10. You wanna keep your legs as straight as possible. You're gonna bring them up into an l -sit position, then back down. The toes. Area music. All right, so there we have leg raises. If you can't do these or you're having trouble with the leg raises, all the other previous progressions will build your strength to be able to do them. That's the whole point of this routine. Each progression helps you to achieve the next harder exercise. And with the hanging leg raises, we're finally introducing raising our legs with our knees locked out. And if you're able to do that, you're already halfway to the toaster to bar. Moving on to the next exercise I have for you, we're gonna solidify this position with the hanging L-sit hold. We're gonna hold this for 20 seconds. Let's go for it. Remember to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. All right, so there we have the hanging L-sit hold, and this is the progression to the hanging tucked L-sit. This one's a lot more difficult because your knees are locked and your legs are straight out, carrying and maintaining the weight further from you, but it's exactly what's needed to be able to do a toast to bar. And remember, holding this position for time and mastering it is not only gonna give you insane core strength, but it's gonna allow you to be comfortable with any exercise that requires you to use this position. Now, when doing this exercise, if you find you have the strength to hold, but you just can't lock out your legs, you have to work on your hamstring flexibility, possibly your hip flexor flexibility as well. Try working on touching your toes from sitting on the floor with your knees locked out or from standing up against the wall. Now moving on to the last exercise, we have tucked toes to bar. If you can do all the other previous exercises and you're able to do this one, then you should definitely be able to do a toes to bar. Let's go for 10 reps. You wanna bring all the way up to your toes touch, and then come back down. So you bring all the way up like your high knee raise, then you're gonna lean back with your lats, allow your feet to touch, come back down. Lats, lean back with your core. If you notice, I'm looking up. That helps a lot as well as you lean back to bring your toes to the bar. And there we have the last progression for the workout, tucked toes to bar. Not only does it require a lot of core strength, but it's the same movement path that you take when you're doing a toes to bar. Once you can do this progression for a couple reps, you'll be able to do at least one perfect toes to bar. Then all you need to do is train that one perfect toes to bar every minute on the minute until it becomes two in a row. Then do two in a row every minute on the minute and slowly work up your repetitions using that technique. So congratulations for following along. If you were able to complete the routine, then you're definitely building your strength to be able to do the toes to bar. Let's go for a couple reps.
All right, there we have the toaster bar. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, definitely smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to show you next and share this video with a friend that's trying to build some solid core strength. And don't forget to get this routine on your phone as well as full access to all our workout programs. Become a member at thenx.com. Get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts that are gonna have you shredded. Download the Thenx app in the App Store to take our workouts with you everywhere and join the millions of other Thenx athletes around the world getting in the best shape of their lives today. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe right now. We post every single Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes, you always have a chance to win some free Thenx gear. And for more of my content during the week, make sure you're subscribed to my vlog channel. That's youtube.com slash Chris Heria. I post every Thursday at 2 p.m. And make sure you're following me on Instagram. That's Chris Heria. Almost every single post, I always do some type of giveaway. So if you want a chance to be a part of that, make sure you're following me. And for everyone enjoying the music, make sure you're following me on soundcloud.com slash Chris Heria. That's where I drop all my latest tracks. You can also find my music on Apple Music, Spotify, and all other music platforms. With that said, I'll see you guys next Sunday. Mad love. Peace out.